What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam Scroll, and we're back at again with another video. In today's video, we are going over the patch notes for December 3rd for PvP. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, Blizzard has announced upcoming class tuning on December 5th, which includes nerfs to overperforming classes and buffs to underperforming classes like Windwalker Monk. Windwalker Monk is a sleeper spec. I feel like they don't need too much of a buff. So we'll see what they're getting for December 5th. Blizzard says as we continue to closely monitor data on class performance as well as player feedback. We've developed the following adjustments to classes that are over and underperforming in group content and PvP. These changes will go into effect with scheduled weekly maintenance in each region. So that's going to be December 5th. All right, we don't care about Blood Decay. All right, so there's a PvP section, specific PvP section right here. But see where it says not applied to PvP. So this won't be applied in PvP. This was just for PvP content. If it doesn't say not applied to PvP, then it is applied to PvP. Okay. So we got unholy plague damage increased by 15%. So this doesn't apply in PvP. We got epidemic damage increased by 12%. So this will be applied in PvP and PvE. Festering strike damage increased by 20%. Festering wound damage increased by 12%. Not applied in PvP. And then we got ghoul sweeping claws damage increased by 15%. So I assume these are just underperforming abilities because unholy isn't like underperforming as a whole in pvp i would say these damage buffs will help them in pve and these ones that don't say not applied in pvp will also be applied in pvp all right all right so demon hunter havoc we got some nerfs thank fucking god Felrush damage reduced by 12 percent immolation aura damage reduced by 12 percent fell barrage damage reduced by 12 percent and they also fix an issue when talented into a fire inside that caused any cast of immolation aura beyond the first to not enforce its intended GCD. So I guess it wasn't going on global cooldown as intended. So these are some nerves to have a demon hunter because I feel like they're still S tier. Uh, we'll have to see. Fell barrage is kind of whatever, but the immolation aura and fell rush should be good. But blade dance, and there's still no nerf to blade dance, right? They're doing huge, huge damage with that. So we got Druid Resto Ferocious Bite damage increased by 20% not applied in PvP. So that's a PvE aspect. Rip damage decreased by 15% not applied in PvP. And Rake and Shred damage decreased by 10%. So this will be applied for PvE and PvP. All right, Evoker, Dev. All damage spells increased by 5%. I feel like Dev's kind of a sleeper spec. I feel like they're like B plus tier right now. And with these changes right here, I think they're going to shoot into A plus or definitely A tier for sure. Regenerative magic increases leech by 5% for devastation only was 3, so that's 2% buff. Draconic legacy increases stamina by 8% for devastation only was 6%, so there's another 2% buff. So I think dev is going to be even stronger. Their freaking disintegrate does so much damage, and it doesn't have a cooldown right, so it's going to be super good. Dev's going to be super, super good on Tuesday. All right, Hunter, we got Beast Mastery, some nerf to their four set. Dire Beast kill command damage reduced by 30%. And Beast Cleave gained by Dire Beast effectiveness reduced by 30% because BM is absurd right now. They're doing a lot, a lot of damage, a lot of cleave damage because they have so many pets out, like six pets out at once and just cleaving and doing so much damage. So they're nerfing their force set a bit. We'll see how they perform on Tuesday, but that's a pretty big nerf. All right, Monk, we got Mistweaver Your Manatee now reduces the mana cost of spells by 25%, was 50%, so it's a 25% nerf. And does it doesn't say not implied in PvP, so it's for it's overall for the class. Upwilling can now stack up 15 times was 18. So there's a nerf again. Essence font healing decreased by 10%. So 10% nerf. Invigorating mist healing decreased by 10%. Calming coal essence now increases the absorb amount of life, life cocoon by 2% per stack was 3%. So there's a nerf again. Vivify primary healing increased by 5%. So there's a 5% buff. Ancient uh, Concordance now increases the chance of Blackout Kick to reset the Rising Sun Kick by 12% was 10%, so there's a 2% buff. So those are just some changes, some nerfs and buffs to Miss Weaver as a whole. Then we got Windwalker. All ability damage increased by 6%, so this is applied for the class as a whole for PvP and PvE. I feel like in PvP, Windwalker does a shit ton of damage in their sleep respect, so... They're going to be cranking even harder, even harder on Tuesday, December 5th. Paladin Holy. Crusader Strike now costs 0.6% base mana, was 1.6, and deals 25% increased damage. So there's a buff to Holy damage right there, and it costs less mana to cast now. Hammer of Wrath now costs 0.6 base mana, was 1%, and deals 20% increased damage. So we got some damage in mana costs buffs to Holy Paladin as a whole. 
Then we got priest discipline, all healing reduced and all damage reduced by three percent. This is huge because dis discipline priest and PvP were doing so much damage, especially with uh, ultimate penance. So this is gonna be really good. Glad to see a little nerf to discipline priest as a whole. Holy priests, all healing increased by four percent. That's pretty big. Holy's lacking pretty bad right now because discipline is just like. So overpowered. All right, Burning Vehemence now causes Holy Fire to deal 75% of initial damage to nearby enemies was 60%. So there's a buff. Two-piece uh, renews caused by Serenity now lasts 18 seconds was 14 seconds. And renews caused by uh, Sanctify now lasts 6 seconds was 5. So there's some buff to the two set for Holy Priest. All right, nice. Some Rogue Assassination nerfs to Kingbane. Dam uh, King Bane damage reduced by 15%. Huge. It was doing an absurd amount of damage. And then we got blindside effect chance reduced to 15%. Was 20%. And 30% against low health targets was 40%. So we got some nerfs to assassination rogue as a whole. Thank God. That's really for PvP. Almost. This right here is really for PvP, I assume. Then we got shaman restoration. Healing surge now costs 4.4% base mana was 4.8% so we got 0.4% buff chain lightning damage increased by 20% and then acid rain damage increased by 10% so we got some buff as a whole to resto shaman nice into the pvp changes right death line unholy rod touches effectiveness reduced by 40% in pvp combat so there's a nerf to unholy we got druid restoration four set now cast nourish at 50% effectiveness was 100% in pvp combat so we got a nerf there and then we got Mastery Harmony is now reduced by 15% in PvP combat. Here's a big one for your boy. We got Hunter Marksmanship buffs. Survival of the Fittest now reduces damage taken by an additional 10% in PvP combat. So right now it does 20% and then 20% more if you grab the talent in the Hunter Tree. So this will be a total of 50%. So this is a big buff to survivability for Marksman. Then we got Exhilaration now heals for 40% of maximum health. Was 30% 30, 30 in PvP combat. So there's another big buff to the defensiveness of marksmanship so that's going to be huge 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 because they kind of just fucking die monk fix the issue that caused fortifying brew damage reduction to be higher than intended in pv combat nice very nice miss weaver two set chi harmony now increases healing received by 15 percent was 25 percent in pv combat so there's a 10 percent nerf healing elixir now heals for 10 percent of maximum health was 20 percent in pv combat and there's a 10 percent nerf Yulon's Grace now creates an absorb for 1% of your maximum health was 2% in PvP combat, so there's a 1% nerf. Dampening the harms for minimum damage reduction is no longer increased in PvP combat was 25%, so there's a 25% nerf. Doesn't mean no longer is even increased in PvP combat. Fortifying Bruise damage reduction is no longer increased in PvP combat was 30%, so there's a 30% nerf. Damn. Diffuse Magic now reduces the magic damage taken by 40 percent was 60 percent so there's another nerf i assume this is to target fist weavers because i feel like uh casting miss weavers aren't very good but miss weavers getting some massive massive nerfs priest discipline four set now has a hundred percent chance to cast another smite was 50 percent in pv combat so there's a buff Gamma Enhancement, Thorim's Invocation now increases Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning Damage by 10% in PvP Combat, was 20%, so there's a 10% nerf. Lava Lash Damage is increased by 25% in PvP Combat and was 12%, so there's a, there's a big buff to Lava Lash for Enhancement Shamans, which is pretty good, because Lava Lash is an ability they don't really use, because it doesn't, it's not very good, right? And we got Ellie Blast. Damage is reduced by 6% in PvP combat. Was 15%. So that got a buff. They just took the reduction off in PvP. So that's going to be really good for enhancement challenge. Stormweaver now causes Chain Heal and Healing Surge to gain 150% of benefits of Maelstrom Weapon based on the stacks consumed. Was 100%. So there's a 50% buff. So these changes to enhancement seem pretty well. They're pretty they're lacking. They're lackluster right now for sure. So they might... Be hitting some fat fat alley blasts i have i see it coming man there's gonna be some fat alley blasts elemental lava burst damage from the four set bonus is now reduced by 40 percent pv combat was 50 percent there's a 10 percent buff to elemental's four set which is weird because i feel like ellie's in a really good spot but i guess i feel like their set bonus is uh, underperforming right now then we got resto set bonus effectiveness no longer reduced in pv combat was reduced by 50 percent so there's a buff to the two set for restoration shamans which is really good because resto shaman is lacking behind 
resto druid and discipline priest breakout rogue sub shadow blades extra shadow damage reduced to 15 percent was 20 percent in pv combat we got thieves bargain pvp talent cooldown reduction value reduced to 20 percent was 33 percent so we got some minor changes to sub rogue i guess all right finally some nerfs to fucking demo demos absurd with their pet damage and there's like no ramp up it's just an easy easy ass rotation so demo fell obelisk pvp talent now increases attack and cast speed by 10 percent was 20 percent there's a 10 percent nerf then we got master summoner pvp reduces the cast time of dread stalker summon vile fiend and summon demonic tyrant by 15 percent was 20 percent so there's a five percent nerf to the summoning the pets aren't just coming super super fast or as fast then we got antorin armaments now increases your fell guards damage by 10 percent was 20 percent in pv combat so there's a 10 percent nerf doom brand from the two set is now undispellable oh interesting that's a buff the demo so you can't be dispel the doom brand the debuff duration reduction for doom brand from the two set bonus is no longer reduced in pvp so there's a buff to the two set and then damage effectives from the two set and four set set bonus are now reduced by 40% in PV combat was 50%. So there's a 10% buff to both two set and four set for demo. So some nice nerfs to demo for their summoning their pets and their attack speed, which is pretty good because they summon pets pretty fast and attack really fast and damage is just like absurd even when you're behind a pillar, I feel like. All right, Destro, Flame Rift damage from the 4 set bonus is no longer reduced in PvP combat was 50%. All right, so 4 set's getting a 50% buff for Destruction Warlocks. Interesting. I feel like Destro is pretty decent, but uh, that's going to make their 4 set pretty strong. All right, now we got some Warrior, some Fury buffs. Definitely needed. Fury is definitely underperforming extremely right now in PvP. So we got Rampage now deals 40% additional damage in PvP. Was 30%, so there's a 10% buff. Execute now deals 50% additional damage in PvP. Was 40%, there's 10% buff. Crushing Bow no longer deals reduced damage in PvP. Was 20%, so there's a 20% buff. Raging Blow deals 15% additional damage in PvP. And Annihilator deals 15% damage in PvP. So there's some huge, huge buffs to Fury. So Fury's going to be looking pretty good on Tuesday. All right, that's going to do it for the PvP changes and the changes overall for patch that will be dropping on December 5th. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the changes. I think there's some nice nerves, and I'm glad to see Marksman got some defensive buffs. We'll just have to see how everything is going to turn out on December 5th, which is coming up this Tuesday. And the buffs to Windwalker are questionable. I feel like they're going to be super, super overpowered. They're going to go to S tier. I think they were a sleeper spec in the A tier, and they did like they do a lot of damage. So the 6% buff to all their abilities is going to be insane. But if you guys like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.